Vehicle theft is a worldwide problem and costs insurance companies and vehicle owners billions of dollars each year. The incidence of vehicle theft and hijacking is extremely high in South Africa and uh, um, I think virtually every member of society knows somebody who's been hijacked or who's had a vehicle stolen and so on. In countries like South Africa, where unemployment is high, crime syndicates have a plentiful supply of foot soldiers to steal cars for them. In South Africa, it's between 90 and 120,000 cars are stolen annually. And um, if you look at those vehicles, um, about 60% of them are rebirthed or turned into clones, 20% are chopped, and 20% uh, leave our borders. Often when a car is stolen, it's taken to a backyard garage, sometimes called chop shops. The car is disassembled and reassembled with parts from similar cars. It's given a new VIN number and number plates. Effective, quick and very profitable. The problem with crime is that uh, you can't control it. Guns are used, uh, people are shot. Sadly, many hundreds of people have lost their lives, they've been murdered for their vehicles. It's very traumatic. So what can be done? Actually, with today's high technology solutions, quite a lot. In a real international partnership between Australia's peak scientific body, CSIRO, and an innovative South African company, Datadot, it looks like this huge problem is being tackled by a tiny solution actually millions of tiny solutions called microdots. Each microdot is no bigger than a pinhead. And if you think microdots look small, then let's look inside them. Okay, looking through it now, you'll see a, a huge amount of information, but in principle what you're seeing is the VIN information, which is um, the 17 digit VIN number, uh, no less than four times. And in addition to that, you have the country of origination, and then a random sequence number that um, also ties in the actual information to this particular uh, pot of dots. Pretty high tech stuff. Well, yes it is. And the technology to develop these micro dots has taken years of research and the scientific brains of two countries. But now that's all done, the rest is actually fairly low tech pretty cool technology but it's also very basic and that's part of its strength. Take a can of dots soaked in glue, a spray gun and a compressor. Connect them all together and spray the dots all over the underside of the car. In the door panel, the roof, the chassis, the gearbox and throughout the engine. That's tens of thousands of dots scattered throughout the vehicle. And all done in a matter of minutes. No specialized training required here. When it's on the vehicle, it's difficult to take it off. We say because of the sheer number of microdots that's around the vehicle, it makes it's, it's probably impossible for criminals or anybody to remove all the microdots and then change the identity of the car. It becomes impossible because there's just too many dots. Whatever dot that you miss, that's a dot that the police or law enforcement authorities will find, and that's a dot that will make sure that there's a conviction. The, the muscle behind the micro dot is that there's 10,000 of them throughout the body of the vehicle, giving the vehicle its own DNA, just like you and I have. And attached to that is a, a whole database linked into police services, linked into insurers and banks. So that's the real muscle behind it. Detecting these silent sentinels is also straightforward. A small portable magnifying scope can identify the unique number in seconds. In South Africa, the police have been given more than 10,000 magnifying scopes to check suspected vehicles. An identity check will reveal the identity of the vehicle's owner in a matter of minutes. Hello Dale, got a new update on that vehicle? And an arrest can be made if necessary. It's a simple and elegant solution to a major worldwide problem. 
So effective are these little dots that major car rental companies like Avis and car manufacturing companies like Nissan use them as a matter of course. We want people to know that our vehicles are data dotted and that if anybody attempts to, to steal the vehicle uh, or to hijack the vehicle with the intention of selling the vehicle or its parts at a later stage, um, that we are able to identify those parts very quickly through the systems that we have in place. Imagine a crime boss's horror at the realisation that he's just received a car with literally millions of car VIN numbers riveted to every conceivable part of his latest order. It's almost enough to turn him straight or maybe instruct his foot soldiers to avoid cars with data dots. Either way, it's a good outcome for the owner of the vehicle. So what next? Data dotting small insects to assist in tracking migration paths? Actually, that's already happening. <laughs>